So, fine, here we are. From the time I actually did this work to my bass guitar to now has been a couple of days when I could. I was hoping to record immediately, but then life just. I say suck, but it doesn't suck, it, it just gets, just gets busy. And to fix the website, to, to keep life going here, keep myself alive. Uh, and so, here we are. And then I had to undo the wires here, and then this, and, 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 and everything. And I can't believe how much trouble it is to do any of this. It all looks so simple. By the time you see it, and I'm clicking play, and I'm just talking here, and having a ball, and you're just listening and soaking it up in your chair, doing nothing, it just seems like it isn't dead. It is nothing at all. Now, I, I'm not even quite prepared here to turn on. The volume, but uh, that's no problem. But I'm going to show you what you can do. This is an electro bass. This is, um, I guess, um, you could call this episode uh, of guitar mods, electric bass, or bass guitar mods, or whatever you want. And um, this, well, I don't never even know this bass, but this model, but it doesn't really matter model it is, what matters is if you've got, um, you know, a cha chamber for your pickups that's this size typical in your base that would make this mod easy, otherwise you've got other considerations that I didn't have. Because basically I took these pickups, the same pickups I show on my website, puredoll.com, which you can get from Amazon, maybe elsewhere, but I get the particular brand I get. I don't kind of trust it. I don't know whatever the also is. Now you say, well, it's a bass guitar. I should have got a pickup that has uh, four pickup things on it or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Look, you make the rules. Someone told me the company, you know, it's so powerful to make the rules. Look, I'm not making any rules. This is what I decided it works, and it works, and that's it. And it's costing me, what, $20, $10 each. Okay, price went up, it's $14, $15 each. Okay, $30, I saved my bass guitar. The pickups that were on it were ancient, heavy, old magnetic things, noisy, never would have ever, impossible to fix what. We gonna you know, rewire them, wrap them, whatever. Why, what? Just get this. Now, I had a choice. I could have taped it on straight in the middle. Now, obviously, the bass strings are kind of wide. And I had a choice how I could go about this, but it, it, it basically I pulled, borrowed, you could say, from my other two guitars to do this. Now, the way it comes, the, the um, pickups in your uh, package, um, they have little wings on them and stuff and all this little stuff to to hold it in your guitar hole for an acoustic guitar, all that's got to go. And I'm not going to just, I'm not going to sit here and, and show you how to do that. You know, take a jewelry cutter, um, take a uh, uh, an adjustable wrench, whatever, and pry those things off as best you can. Perfection's not necessary. You want to sit there and sand it down and play games with it. I ain't got time for that. What I did was make sure they fit in the slot. Matter of fact, probably leaving some of the flash on it makes it stick. So if you do too good a job of filing everything down, it may just pop right out of here and that's not what you want. Now underneath here, when I pulled the old pickups off, there was foam, rubber, sticky thing that was holding on. All that has to go. I eventually scraped all that off and even took it out on a hose and wrenched it out of here. Make sure every drop of that stuff, that stuff is nasty. It should have never been in here in the first place. Um, it's not a natural element of your instrument. It's just bullshit. And no wonder you wonder why you're never going to be successful in music because your instrument isn't even up to the quality of your ear, God, 
out here, anyone's ear that would, the people on, um, on whatever talent show you think you can get on, no, we're never going to make it. So this is step one, get everything off your guitar. I mean, I've got, there was a metal panel on the back here. God knows what I needed it for. And this is another mod you can look at. And what do I got holding this in now? Two of the four screws. That's what I need. The less I have, and the less that there is, the less vibration that's beyond, besides the, what you're trying to vibrate it to be, is there, and it's going to improve your sound. So, luckily I men mentioned that. And there was a plate on here where the pickups were under and stuff and all that, and that's plastic and whatnot. And every screw that held it in, all that, gone. Nice and natural. This get this um, channel here where the um, was where the uh, knobs and all that stuff. Well, what do you need that for? Either you, you've got a mixer, you've got other ways of controlling volume, and you know what I say. Well, I can do swells and stuff and whatnot. Which honestly, if you're going to do that kind of stuff, well, you could you could put it back in it. I mean, I'd rather have a foot pedal that does it. It would be better anyway. So you know, having anything on here really is is you know is complicating your your problem. That's my opinion. Now it just so happens I did go instead of like trying to tape something on because I had the nice thing and it did fit. I said I'm doing stereo bass up here. So basically, I've got one pickup that's going to hit the low two strings. And it really doesn't matter that it's there's six or whatever it shows or it doesn't matter. The point is the area of the field where it picks up. And I did prove that one in either one of these slots will not pick up all four strings. It, it starts to drop off on the last two at some kind of you know, decibel slope. Last string really can't even hurt at all going either way. So we had to do this. And so I put this one in first and... Um, drop the uh, wire under and put the other one on top of it and it fit nicely and both wires run through the hole there if I want I could I could tape those down or do something to it in the hole here or something this particular guitar did not did not they did not drill it out to to um, put the jack in the jack was actually on the face panel which is now gone so you know that's another thing you could consider. I consider. I'm not going to sit here and play Mr. Carpenter and and this wood is is very very um, thick and um, it would be it would be a bear and I'd rather be the bear than to have a bear at the time. So um, that that's about it. God knows this is tuned today. I've got a problem here that I do have to resolve. Now of course. You do want to intonate things. I've talked about this before, and probably you know, you know, you've got it. Pretty much all three, all four should be across the board, and pretty much all the back. Again, the springs aren't. You can see, but the the springs that used to be here that they put in um, to called supporting the um, thing that that's all gone. I lost um, one of the um, things. I don't know if I'll buy one. Probably will have to find one. That holds this back. Kind of have to do this manually because it falls over every time. It doesn't have one lost to get but something's got to be done there. And uh, it just happened I lost that piece that for the fourth one, but we make, we make it. We make it go. Now, um, so so that's it basically, and. Um, all my effects, they're not stereo effects. Um, I have a stereo reverb effect. Um, turned out when I ran through it, I um, wasn't getting any output. I don't know if something blew up on it or it just doesn't doesn't push it. And I thought I was trying to use my A track. I recently got it. In fact, the A track was on now. It's uh, the reverb. If I take that out of the picture and just use my harmonizer, which is. Um, is it? I think it's a Yamaha or something. Whatever it is. 
over it, it's the combination harmonize or delay or whatever um it, it's a very nice one it's very lucky to pick one up it's an old piece of equipment that i don't think they're manufacturing anymore if you can get one um, it's like you can play yes nine on one two five and whatever is great and um so i finally got one i always wanted one i've been bought borrowed um uh, you ought to know from friend paul to do that track i don't even if you don't know no i'm talking about well maybe one day well uh and it's running through my distortion which is neat because i can do like these called bass balls which is uh, like buzz, you know, fuzz ball, fuzz bass and stuff and what i can write back set at mono here so what i did was i ran the uh in this case i ran the higher end pickup for the higher end three strings through that and i ran the stereo the secondary um uh, quarter inch plug uh directly into my amplifier i'm very lucky this little cheap little amplifier i got from garage stuff 10 what was it 20 no more than 20 dollars uh, has two like karaoke mic inputs they work just fine and so uh, uh, should be already balanced if I put turn on the amplifier now any luck and it's tuned again I in my instruments my string instruments uh, low string to C um, and that's uh, I guess a C on, a, on an A440 system, well, it's more or less like D on my, what my would use my tune system as, which is A400. Um, the point being is you gotta be in that sweet spot of tuning to really be in sync with your body because um, you're playing, uh, like I said, you, it's you're, you're, you want to be in frequencies of multiples of five, two, and one because that's who you are. You're you were created in um, divisions of five, two, and one. And, yeah, it sounds like a theory. Whether you like it or not, you're going to figure out what sounds best to you. Just like I figure out what sounds best to me. I hope we all meet someday. Because it's like, do you hear what I hear? You know. That's what that was about. And I use it, I'm using stranger tunings all the time. I don't know, just, um, it seems like the strings want to be in not the tuning that, you know, it's the standard tuning given to every amateur when they first start here. Um, experiment yourself. But I think I did. Um, the open of two strings sounds dissonant and um, 
the um, like check when you're holding one to be the note of the other sounds in sync or vice versa. That's an indicator that your intonation down here is not quite right because they should match up. And uh, I may have that problem right now. Um, I did some tweaking with the screwdriver. But you know, you never know. Things change, the weather changes, the moon moves, things happen. You set your bass down, it hits the tile a little too hard. Things change, the cat's fur gets on it. I don't know. Some, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to sit here and now, you can now analyze it forever. You can pray to God. It's like, so, say, what happened, God? I, I need to know um, because I, I have to know, I have to know. And, and you still don't have an answer. Just fix it. Then I slow. See, I hope this. I haven't tested on um, to see what sounds a little hard.
now. And then the quiet. And she was just a sound. She's a slate at night. I've you know, just got them little tiny, um, tiny hearts out. Uh, and then and this is like so many anesthesias my amplifier I've got a load for. And there's even a plastic like logo thing on the front where this speaker is. I broke half of it off, but you can get the other half off. But it's not even better. If I got that other thing I'm sort of sort of Anyway. And yeah, we're done. Next time on Guitar Mods or whatever else we discussed.